and salutations to my dearest friends. My name is Samantha and today I'm going to be talking about an awesome readathon that I'm doing with some of my friends. We are going to be reading a ton of Tessa Dare books. My historical romance heart is just so happy right now. Hello, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, we're sitting on the floor again. It's very casual. I feel like I'm filming a lot on the floor because it's just like comfortable sitting down here, you know what I mean? Today, I woke up and my body was like, mm, let's just not today. And I was like, okay, let's just not. Rolled back over. It's currently almost three o'clock and this is the first time that I'm getting up filming for you guys. So excited to announce the summer of Tessa Dare. Yes, ma'am. So Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sings reached out to me. She wanted to do a Tessa Dare read along. I thought it was so much fun. You guys know that I love historical romances with like every piece of my soul. So of course I had to agree. She invited a bunch of my favorite YouTubers. I will leave all their channels down below so you guys can follow us. Let's just pretend I have all of the Tessa Dare books in my hand right now. Let's just pretend. I own all of her books and then some of them are like lost in the deep caves of my book collection. So here we go. I was so excited for this read long because I've only read one Tessa Dare. I know, criminal, absolutely criminal for a historical romance fan. I am ashamed to admit that. One of those authors that I know I'm gonna love and I'm like savoring her books, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I was able to meet Tessa Dare in person at two different book signings at a Polycon in DC last year and then another at a historical romance signing. And she's the sweetest, like literally the sweetest person alive. Her lines were so long because she's Tessa freaking Dare, but she was so present and you could tell that she just loved talking about her books and about romance. I was lucky enough to get a lot of my editions signed by Tessa Dare herself. I'm trying to open this book to show you. Oh my god. Eek. They're signed, which is even more special. One book I have read by Tessa Dare is The A Duchess Steel, and this is a first in a series. Let me show you guys the beautiful step back. This one is A Marriage of Convenience, so our heroine is a seamstress. She makes a wedding dress for a girl who's supposed to marry our hero, the Duke of Ashbourne, but they end up canceling the wedding because that girl is trash, to be completely honest. Heroine does not get paid. She does not get paid for her hard work and time. So she shows up to the Duke's house in the wedding dress and is like, listen, I sewed this dress, use a lot of materials, a lot of time, resources, energy. You need to pay for the dress, even if you're not having the wedding. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. She gets there. Our hero kind of turns the table on her and offers a marriage of convenience because he needs to get married. He needs to have an heir. The war hero, he has some injuries from the war and he's a little jaded because that's why his wife left him. He's not really comfortable when it comes to romance and marriage. So they end up having a marriage of convenience because he needs an heir. She needs some shmoney. Match made in heaven. They have all these rules they put in place, which of course they're not going to follow because they're going to fall in love. It's so freaking good. I actually read this one because of Rachel. I read it in a reading vlog where I read some of her favorite books and I loved it so much. So yeah, I've been dying to read Tessa Dare ever since. I love these read-alongs that Rachel does because we did one with the Folk of the Air series. Your girl read a YA fantasy. The historical romance feels very much my speed, more my, you know, wheelhouse. So yeah, I'm just really happy to be doing this. Let me give you the actual details to this read-along, okay? It is called The Summer of Tessa Dare. It is going to be hosted between May 21st and July 30th. We're going to be having multiple live shows, alternating channels where we talk about the books that we're going to be reading. Yes, I know you guys are going to ask. I'm probably going to read the books the day before the live show. It's just what happens. We are going to be reading a total, grand total, of 14 books in this read-along. That's a lot. So feel free to join us wherever wherever you want, wherever your heart, your corazón desires, okay? These covers are gorgeous. I love Tessa Deer covers. I love her step backs. I know she has some illustrated covers that we're just not going to talk about it, but I love them. I love them. I love them. So, so yeah, 14 books total. You are going to be a Tessa Deer connoisseur at the end of this. Deer expert, historic romance guru, if you will. If you are following along for this read along, we have some really cool graphics that Rachel created. So those are going to be on Instagram. So make sure to follow us on Instagram. I'll try to create like a little reel and a highlight. And I think I'm going to do some reading vlogs for these books as well. I do have an author binge series on my channel where I take one specific author and I read a bunch of their backlist. If I'm already doing it for this read along, I will definitely film one of my author binge videos for Tessa Dare. I have a few historic romance ones already on that playlist that I will leave down below. I've done Beverly Jane. Jenkins, Lisa Kleypas, Judith McNaught. You guys know how I feel about Miss Judith McNaught. We won't talk about it. Um, I just recently did Shayna Gayling and I really loved her books. So yeah, I will definitely be doing some reading vlogs on top of these live shows. Hope you guys join us. Even if you don't finish the books on the times that we have them, feel free to join the live shows because a lot of times we end up just chatting, talking about our favorite books and... 
Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to spend time with me. It means the world to me. I hope you guys are all staying happy and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!